Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, in today's episode, I want to go up and meet a couple of sorcerers, who no doubt will have quests for me. I also want to go meet up with that lich, which is, honestly, it's kind of just on the way to where I want to go anyway, so that's useful. Um, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. I kind of want to head up, like... Up this direction? No, I think I want to come from this direction. Good to know. Uh, you go here. You go here. Uh, once again, have to tell everybody to run through poison because people don't like running through poison. It's weird, I know. Uh, this way, there are some bears that we can talk to. Bears ahead. Hello. Honey bear. Ah, honey. Bog off. Hmm. Let the honey smells odd. Best honey ever. Makes a bear feel good. The bog off. Sours. Hmm. Fair enough. You want some honey? That's the bit where the bees are gone. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. Bees are bees dead. Good thing too, cause uh, honey. Fair enough. Clearly, it's void tainted. Um. Clearly it's void tainted honey, that's the obvious thing here. But, um, that's fine. Got nothing against void tainted honey, for the most part. Um, I, whoops. I don't think that gave me anything new, but, you know. Cool. Um, anything of note over here? Not anything particular? There is another troll over here. Much smaller than the other one. Marge. Also a lot lower level. Quackus, that's good. Is was it a night of dread? Well, no matter. It's too late for them, whoever they were. Interesting. I assume there's a dead squirrel over there somewhere, which prompted him to say that. <laughs> Weird, but you know, I'll go with it. Weird. Solora just wandered off. In the near distance, you see a man. Those shadows obscure his features. A faint, guttural chittering emanates from a cage before him. This, this is him. He can help me. He can... Ugh. Mosa's eyes suddenly fill with inky blackness. Grey veins appear beneath her skin. Walk away. She shakes her head. Her color returns to normal. I'm running out of time. I think that man is Jehan, the demonologist. I need to talk to him. Go ahead. She throws up a salute and laughs low, but worry sparkles behind her eyes. She walks towards the mysterious figure, who turns towards her with narrowed eyes. Keep your distance. I recognize that particular shade of darkness in your eyes. Why do you seek me? You're Jehan, the demonologist. I heard you could help me. Please, I must be free of it. Jahan stands back from her, his body tense. He stares into her eyes a long while, saying nothing. I've heard about you, Losa. You're the amalgam too hideous to contemplate. One who has a demon coiled around her god-woken heart. Mm. Its grip grows stronger by the hour. Its voice and yours become ever more indistinguishable until, ultimately, it's your voice no longer. But not just yet. He walks toward her. 
They talk in low tones. Jahan's face is vivid, insistent. Losa's is set in a determined frown. Do as I say, Losa. Hurry now. It won't be long. They shake hands, Jahan clasping Losa's hand in both of his. You'll see. I'll be back before you know it. The Advocate doesn't stand a chance. Losa turns to you. So, we have a job. I'm all ears. It's like this. Jahan can help us. He can teach us how to control more source. Just like that. All we need to do is a little favor for him. There's a place to the north called Blood Moon Island. I guess it's been more or less lost to a demonic presence for some time now. There's a fellow there. Goes by the Advocate. And our new pal Jahan would like to see him taken care of. We take care of that and Jahan helps us control more source. And after that, he may even be able to help exercise what ails me. Sound good? Of course it does. Get on, Lisa. Away before you have time to answer. <laughs> Excuse me. You travel with Losa, do you not? Hmm. We need to have a word, you and I. Interesting. Uh, Jahan, by the way, has a lot of necromancy spells, but I don't think anything I particularly need. Um, yeah. He also has some good gear, but... Honestly, I think I'll find stuff by the time I actually need to get to him. He also has a lot of money, so I'll do that. I suppose I don't have to tell you her condition is... rather dire. Hmm... Tell him you're quite away. You've had a run-in or two with that demon of hers. You're no stranger then to her demon-wrought idiosyncrasies. <laughs> the thing inside her is voracious. It's a testament to her strength that it hasn't long since consumed her whole. Perhaps that's because she's godwoken, just like you are. The fact that she's godwoken is what's saving her, but may also be the very thing that spells the world's doom. Mm. Do heed me when I say that under no circumstance must she be allowed to ascend to divinity. The demon, not she, would be a god. It would bring about the end of time and space and all creation as we know it. I say this to prepare you for the worst. I say this to prepare you for the kill may come to pass. You must be ready to be the death of Lusa. Should she come close to ascension, you may not hesitate. Stand ready to end her, even if it breaks your heart. Fair enough. Then practice the moment in your mind. For hesitation will mean <coughs> annihilation. There may be more I can do for you. Come find me if you are interested in growing the source inside you. You may find that new strength will soon become essential. Interesting. How fares the hunt, my friend? Um, ask you if you can give any insight as, to f as far as reaching the island is concerned. Death fog obscures any approach and hangs thick over the collapsed bridge that led to the isle from the Driftwood Road. There is more than the mist alone there, though. Magic that evades my eyes. I also spotted a sloop further down the shoreline. But of course, a quiet afternoon's boating trip will be quite ruined. Once one hits death fog shrouded waters. Interesting. So not entirely helpful, but he has told us that if you take the boat, you'll die from death fog, which is good to know. Um, not to know, I'm interested in learning more about the nature of the land. It is a place of irony, if you will. Once the site of an academy dedicated to the art of demon hunting, now the remnant of a dream sliced open into nightmare. That's a nice turn of phrase. Rumor has it an exorcism went wrong there long ago. And for a short time, a great demon stood unopposed. Had it not been for Dr. Deva, 
the entirety of Reaper's Coast could have looked like Blood Moon Island looks today. Mm. He contained the demon and its blood spawn to the doomed shores of the isle, surrounded it with death fog, and never looked back. Jayhan, by the way, is from the original game. He was one of the companions you could get. He was one of the cooler companions, in my opinion. I like Jayhan a lot. I met him once during a soiree in Arcs. Quite the eccentric is Dr. Deva. But then again... Also, worth noting, because he's from the other, of the other game, he's clearly insanely old. He looks you up and down. Aren't we all? Ask how he knows you're godworking. He smiles, like one would at a child, asking about the birds and the bees. <laughs> I know, because I've known others like you. Those whose fates are chained for better or for worse to that of the gods themselves. Rather cryptic. I have battled the foe of foes mm. and conquered it for a while. I have sat in perfumed gardens with the source herself, drank life from her very lips. I have seen well over 2,000 springs go. and will continue to do so until time itself closes its weary eyes. It's a rather flippant way of telling us you're a model, but go for it. Trust me. I know what you are. And what you can be. See you, Jahan. May you wander in wisdom. So he's like over 2,000 years old. Which I was going to say, he's at least 1,000. Because I think there's like 1,000... There's at least 1,000 years between this game and the, the previous one. Nothing good will come of speaking with them. They may sound merely mad, but they're infinitely more clever than you imagine. They move between moods like wind through trees, only to settle upon the one that may just sway you. Hmm. They'll talk themselves out of that cage if you let them. Tell You'll him be their key before you know it. I won't be. Tell, me, <laughs> tell him if he wants the job done, he needs information, you must question these demons. You're playing with fire, Godwoken. But far be it from me to come between you and what you consider entertainment. <coughs> he clearly doesn't like demons much. The creature turns to you. It's so hideously ugly, it's almost beautiful. You feel like it's trying to grin, but it looks more like a snarl. It looks towards its jailer, then back to you. Hey, want some gold? Set us free. Take the deal, set them free. Um, tell them you already have gold, you want information. I'll give you what you want after you set us free. Nah. No! Set us free! Set us free! Careful now, it lies. Well, no shit, it lies. Bugger off. <laughs> want some gold? Careful now, it lies. I mean, I trust Jehan when he says that that motherfucker's lying. A hundred percent. Hello. The creature rubs its clattering hands together. It's about time. My soul rests inside the reliquary. I need but a drop of your blood to open it. Why does it need my blood? The fount requires a... Fresh offering. I upheld my part of the bargain and kept my teeth out of your so-called innocence. You can't spare a little blood to save another precious life. Yeah, hold out your arm. Take some blood. I am me. I am whole. I am and he disappears. So if you attack him enough in that fine, you can attack him and get um, some extra stuff from him. But I'm honestly okay with just letting him go for the most part. It's not a bad belt. 
Um, in any case, I do want to put that in the correct bag. This bag. Auto sort this stuff. I think we're good for now. Um, so we've met one sorcerer in Jehan. And we're here to meet another. Magisters. Your powers of observation astonish me. <laughs> Best you leave the building, stranger. We have sorcerer trouble. We're trying to talk her down without a fight. It's not going well. God's damn sorcerers. Agreed. God damn sorcerers indeed. Then kill him. <laughs> Ooh. He has literally no magic armor. That's insane to me. Um... Put some rain down. It's gonna be electricity rain, but look at things. That spreads all the way over there. Frozen. Uh, let's go global cooling. fortified herself. Can't teleport you. Because you're fortified. That's kind of annoying. Also, Source Fan Prison, you know, over here. So apparently, I'm standing in frozen blood rather than frozen ice, which is kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. That's better. <laughs> eh. I think just powering down these two is probably the better option. Frozen... Right, frozen just chilled. That should get two hits with Hail Strike, which should freeze him. That's good. And then... I don't really know what to do. So I guess I'll Bone Cage. And then Enter. That's fine. Um, well, I mean, it's not fine, but could be worse. You're still fortified, aren't you? Kind of a pain in the ass. You have no physical armor, though. No, you do, because you fortified yourself, obviously. Um, 200 physical armor. Start with here. I guess just buff, honestly. Um, I can't freeze them anymore, which is kind of annoying. I want to hit both of them without hitting Lusa, if at all possible. 
I managed it somehow. Uh, he goes after Lusa, so I guess attack this one. So that's stunned. Let's do a mosquito swarm on her. Or him, actually. It's a man. I thought it was a woman. It's very hard to tell when they've got this effect on them. That's annoying. I potentially should have killed him. To be fair, stunning works. Are you still fortified? You're still fortified for one more turn. Haste myself. God damn it. Into a position where I can't see the red prince. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, yeah, shit, I don't know. Go invisible. Then end turn. Both stunned, then red prince's turn. Uh, I get global cooling again. Probably not horrible. Kills both. Don't really know what to do here. Can't do a whole lot this turn. But I mean... That's fine, I guess. Light you on fire, I suppose. Just shoot you a few times, I guess. Sure, that'll do, I guess. I believe you're not going to be fortified after this turn. Do some significant. What level are these guys? Thirteen. What level am I? Eleven. They do do significant damage. If I'm not controlling these guys, I could be running into some trouble, to be fair. Uh, freeze both of them, please. That didn't freeze both of them. For some reason. Kill him. I said kill him. Thank you. Um, Red Prince is in some trouble. I can't see him, however. Hmm. I actually could be in some trouble here now I think about it. Red Prince might die. I guess I just fortify myself for now. She's chilled, but she can probably- she can still shoot me. The tattoo will retreat, will haste her. Eh, fine. Perfect. <clears throat> and we got one left. With a lot of health. Annoyingly fortified again, but kind of to be expected, to be honest. Magic shell again, that's annoying. Also, crits with those bloody hits is insane. Can I get high ground on this bitch? Not easily. Should have field of view from there. Really? Uh, this is probably going to be a straight buff turn for the most part.
Sure. That'll give him max AP on this turn. Well, not quite max, but pretty close. Annoying, I can't see it because of that smoke, but... Oh. Vaporize is the opposite of Y1, obviously. <coughs> um... If I can get away, the screen shook, which took two AP. And eggs a bitch. Um, fuck it, use spirit vision. They do a shit ton of damage. That was dumb. I just froze myself. One of my dumber moves. Uh... Let's just check this person out for a second, because they seem to have... They're weak to fight. They have water resistance. That's why it's taking a while to get through this, by the way. Um. I mean... She's no longer frozen or something. She, she's wet. Restoration is annoying. Uh, the reason I'm putting myself into the water, by the way, is that it makes my spells cheaper. Potentially freeze here, but I doubt it. Not just a chill. But global cooling should get the freeze. I should have frozen first, then done global cooling, would have been the better option. Because I believe global cooling. No, it's, it's chilled. Intr I don't know. Whatever. Um, do a heal on Loisa. I think we're good at this point. I think I've got a control to the point that I don't have to worry. Do a second heal right here. And in turn. Chilled. Tripled. Entangled, which is doubling up on crippled. There's not a whole lot of reason to do that, but... It's unlikely she'll have haste, so she won't be able to move, which is nice. Uh, Fortify doesn't get rid of Entangled. It does get rid of Crippled. No, it doesn't, actually, in fact. Interesting. Magic Shell is incredibly annoying. But it's not like I can wait for the magic shell to run out, so I just have to keep hitting her with spells. There's not a whole lot I can do otherwise. Steal some magic armor. Hell, I don't know, just shoot her. And one there.
Alright, so I got rid of the magic armor. So that's something. Magic shell myself. I'm gonna give myself on any evasion, because that could be useful. Piece of my the red Sorry, the Red Prince. And heal myself. Not shocked, interestingly. I wonder if there's an interaction between oil and shocked, whether that cancels each other out. Could be a thing. Um, what to do, what to do. She's still fortified. Which, like, she's chilled? I guess I can do this. I freeze Losa here, but I also... Nope, the Frozen is blocked. Okay, perfect. Worked out how I wanted it to. Eh, it's pointless. I mean, guess... Give her Death Wish. It's not gonna do much, but it'll do a little bit. Um... And turn. Keep her frozen is a good way to go. Only fortified for one more turn. I don't know what to do. Uh, delay my turn. We killed them. Fantastic. It was an ordeal, but we got there. Spectral Nun. The Shade walks in silent meditation. With eyes closed, she gently places her feet one by one on the grass. Sensing your presence, she opens her eyes and smiles at you, serene. Blessings of the child relic upon you, my child. Wonder how she died. Her thin lips press together. A fleeting look of despair crosses her wizened face, only to vanish almost instantly. I cannot read the future, child. I live still, see? How else would we be in conversation? Mm. Ralik honors his chosen. Were I dead, I would be standing by his right-hand side in the Hall of Echoes. So mean. Beg to differ with Schubert's horse. Um, ask her about this place. Here is a place of tranquility where those of faith can gather together. You are welcome to stay and walk with me should you wish it. Though, my vigil honors Ralik, who bears no tenderness towards your kind. Fair. Um, that's gonna be it for this episode. We're gonna go talk to Hanag next episode.
Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. We're also going to talk to all these ghosts. Um, the nuns say all pretty much the same thing, as far as I can tell. Uh, as far as I can remember, I should say. But, that's going to be it. We're going to talk to them all next time. See you guys.